In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about exports and the impact of an export tax. We start with a standard demand and supply curves. And this is the equilibrium price. In this case, it's the domestic price. And this is our equilibrium quantity. And in this case, also, it's the domestic quantity. This is the consumer surplus. It's the area above price and below the demand curve. I have other videos that discuss consumer surplus in detail. The red area is producer surplus, which is the area above the supply curve and below the price. Now imagine that a supplier can export at a higher price than their domestic price, indicated by the green line. I'm going to relabel things slightly. There we go. The quantity supplied is the total quantity supplied, including exports and domestic consumption. Domestic consumption is that line right there. And the difference between the quantity supplied and domestic consumption, of course, is the exports. In a moment, I'm going to put numbers to all this, too. Now, this area is the decrease in domestic consumption because the supplier is exporting. Now at the higher price, what we see is consumer surplus actually decreases and producer surplus increases. So for lack of better terms, consumers are hurt, producers benefit from exporting. Often countries will have a tax or an export tax and this is the new export price minus the tax. So the supplier sees the domestic price and the export price is the same now. So if I fill in both the consumer surplus, what we see then after the tax, producer surplus falls. The black trapezoid is lost producer surplus. Quantity demand with the export price is that brown line there. And quantity supplied is that brown line there. The gain in consumer surplus is the blue trapezoid. Tax revenues is the brown rectangle, the total tax revenue. And the two gray triangles are dead weight lost to society. As I mentioned before, in a few minutes, I'm going to put in numbers to all this, too, and redo the whole thing. Now, all these areas added up is lost producer surplus. I'm going to put some values to this, and then we can actually quantify these areas. In this case, the export tax would be $2 a unit. Now we can calculate all the area. The gain in consumer surplus is this rectangle and that triangle. And what we do is we calculate the area of the rectangle plus the area of the triangle. And this is the increase in consumer surplus after the tax. So the rectangle, the base is 4. The height is 2, and the 4 is the quantity, and 4 times 2 is $8. So the total area is $8. The height of the triangle is 2, and the base is 2 units, which is length, which is quantity, times height, which is the tax, times 1 half, which is 2 times 2 times 1 half, and all this equals 2. 4 times 1 half is 2. That 2 plus the $8, and you add those together, that equals $10. Tax revenue is the brown rectangle. The height of the rectangle is $2 again. And the base is 4, or 4 units. That is $8. The area of that rectangle is $8. Now we calculate the area of the deadweight loss triangles. The height is $2, or the export price. So it's 2 times 2 of the height times 1 half, which is equal to $2. That's the area of that deadweight loss triangle and the area of that deadweight dead loss triangle, too. They're the same. 
So if I add up all these areas, it equals to $22, which is the same as the lost producer surplus. $10 is the gain in consumer surplus. $8 is the tax revenues. And $4 is the dead weight loss to society, which are these two triangles, that one and that one combined. is, Of course, it's equal to 4. I'm going to fade all that out. I'm going to tell you one more thing. This is the export level, and we can calculate the exports before the tax by taking 12 minus 4, that 4 right there, and that equals 8. So the exports are equal to 8 units. It's a little big font. I'm going to make that font a little smaller like that. There you go. The decrease in domestic quantity is the equilibrium quantity, which is 8, minus the domestic quantity after the export new export price, and that equals 4. So the decrease in domestic consumption is equal to 4 units. And that should do it for this topic.